What is going on you guys, Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Content Real Figma plugin and uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to want to install the plugin. For those of you who don't have it, I have the link in my description to take you directly to that plugin. And if you're already in Figma, let's just go to, let's go to Plugins, Browse All Plugins and um, you can click on it. It's under the Popular category as well. Uh, that might be quicker, but I'm just going to click Browse. And as you can see, I have it here already installed. And it's as simple as clicking it and you have the plugin installed. So if you go to the file you're trying to utilize this plugin at, um, basically you're, you're going to utilize this tool by right clicking, going to plugins, and selecting content reel, and having a text layer selected. And once you have a text layer selected, you can see that you have a variety of options for um, adding in placeholder text with. Uh, options as well to modify these settings. So with uh, to provide more context on this plugin, as far as I know from uh, from its current version uh, 1.0, um, shout out to the design tools team at Microsoft. This is dope. Um, I haven't been able to utilize the plug uh, the icons. Um, you're supposed to download this file. It'll download. You need to download this file in order to <coughs> in order to use the icons in your design and you can also modify the size of the thumbnails as well to see them in more detail or in, or more icons your choice and as you can see I've downloaded this this web fluent font set that was indicated by the plugin and I've installed these fonts already and this set of icons as well and I have not been able to get it to work and also the people version is not available for, for the public yet, so just an update on that. So mainly we're gonna be covering the text abilities of this content real plugin. So let's get started. So let's say we wanna change the date and the, the name of this, um, if it were a name, this might not directly relate to what's currently on the UI, but we're just gonna mainly focus on how to utilize the functionality of this plugin, so let's get started. So if we click on it, it'll start to generate random names. And if we want to specifically generate names, we can um, change the order of elements. So instead of first, then last name, we could do last and first, and also separate names by commas. And you can see these previews. And if you would like to apply the changes, just click apply. And as you can see, they've been applied. And if you'd like to modify the name to be French or Spanish, those capabilities, those locales are offered in this plugin. And as you can see, not all genders are covered, but I would imagine in the versions to come there will be. And you can select those names as well. And that's how you utilize the the names. Companies is very straightforward. It will just generate the companies. Um, phone number is very straightforward as well. It also offers another setting to where, as opposed to having the parentheses for the area code, um, and a dash there it's just dots and you can see that in the preview as well and I'll apply that the changes have been made as such and there's numbers you can generate <clears throat> you kind of get where this is going I'm just going to be going into detail um, on each of these uh, content reels functionalities if that makes sense <laughs> and as you can see you can get into the ones and get the preview show decimal and currency or no currency and you can go into the thousands as well and show the decimals to generate some some sense for a currency if you'd like um, and you could apply that and then for date and time we could check that out it'll generate a date and time starting with a month day year and time by default and you can go into the settings and change that and you can actually remove the date if you'd like or remove the time you can't remove both of course and then you can also generate uh, choose to generate the type of format um, as you can see here and same with the time and you can preview all these changes to get the desired visual look and feel that correlates with the functionality your engineers are going to implement on this UI um, if that makes sense and a f one of my favorites is uh, lorem ipsum so lorem ipsum generates quite a bit of text so I'm just gonna copy copy some text layer very straightforward and you can it's going to generate five paragraphs for me and as you can see it's a lot of paragraphs um, you can also adjust this to the amount of words you'd like to utilize and the amount of characters 
So paragraphs, sentences, and words. So three words apply. Um, you know, three sentences, uh, and you can apply that. There's no preview for that other than actually applying it to your text layer. So that's how you utilize the lorem ipsum functionality. And then for US addresses, it's really easy. You just click through it and it'll generate it based off of the street, city, state, and zip, and then the country. And you can also choose to unselect elements as well and rearrange the order of them. And you can get a preview of that right here and click apply. And email is very straightforward, just generates random emails as well as URLs and usernames and countries. So that is all I have to show you on how to utilize the Content Real Figma plugin, folks. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a comment in the comments section below on any other tutorials you'd like. And uh, without any further ado, thank you for your time.